Hello, what's up, guys? So we have uh, MacBook Air 2017 today, which is not turning on, and uh, if we connect it to the charger, let's see what happens. Oh, sorry, it's on this side, so I'll remove it here. So we got green and yellow, that means something at least is happening and when you turn it on, see pressing the button, but nothing, no shine, nothing at all. So we will open it up and we will try to fix, fix it. This MacBook A14 double six from 2013 to 2017. These are good machines, but um, they occasionally fail. Most of them are repairable. So the repair success ratio on these MacBooks for me is pretty high but sometimes when if it's processor that is where we have to stop anyway so there are two more here okay we check under the microscope These are uh, what I have found out are usually moisture damage and you can I haven't removed um, the board yet so that part looks okay to me okay let's see from Let's remove the board and check what we can find. Otherwise, to me, the the board looks pretty clean. See no evidence of any liquid damage or moisture damage, but moisture damage is usually on the other side and if you couldn't find anything which is on liquid or moisture damage the next thing we have to do is to check power radiuses what line we might be missing or uh, if anything which is shorted the easy repair is where you can see where the damage is okay do, 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 do anything else here we have to yeah before i do that i would like to check on the DC power supply because we can get some sort of indication. Yeah. Okay, man, just check here. Yeah, that's the right volt here. Let's turn it on. Okay. This means uh, there is a short on the board and short on the input line, so we know the board is shorted. Okay, but we have to remove the board anyway. So let's.
I'm hoping to see something burnt. Nothing here, but maybe at the back side of the port. somewhere here and now let's check at the other side of the board and this is the backlight I see they always fail on these MacBooks. Man, see the board is, it's like never been to, it must be from a clean house. See, not even a small dust there. Mm. I wonder what has happened. Uh. So the board is so clean and we know there is a input shot where what we have find out from the power supply and uh, if it's a input shot you can always in most of the cases you can always find a heat point okay let's give it some more power and then I will feel it with my hand then I will feel it if I can find something hot I will get um, the DC jack so this is the known good DC jack which we use to test so we know board is not turning on so <coughs> okay let's give it some more power A little bit of heat I can feel here. Processor is not turning on. I can I can tell just by feeling it. Yeah, a little bit of heat here. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put it under thermal cam. Let's see if I will be able to see check it here so nothing so far here oh sorry I have to this way okay no. oh yeah <laughs> it's, it's just light up man it's here so let's let's turn it off Oh my god, that's getting really, really hot. God. Okay, let's try again. Wow, 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 stop it here. See how quickly it's... Okay, let's... Let me just pinpoint, you know? Let me just pinpoint, which one is it? Okay. I don't want to even touch it. I think that's the one. Okay. We'll bring it under the microscope a bit again. Yeah, it's one of these. So we have to look closely actually. Okay. Yep. 
do you see oh it's even see the crack here and see so that's that's his blood see <laughs> okay first of all i have to check you know what um, line is it on let's check this one what so board is this way so i will put it same way and uh, this is the one c7375 okay and this is on uh, pp bus underscore s5 line So it was getting pretty hot instantly. I was thinking maybe if something else, you see the flux here as well. The mouse fit here, mouse fit here. But anyway, we will remove this and uh, see. First of all, let me check the, um, the what's the resistance we are getting from here so that when we remove it, then we can check it again. Mm, you can see right okay uh, as you can see on the multimeter you know it's um, and if that is shorted these all are shorted so now we know about approximately what the value is so we will remove it now put underneath a metal plate I don't want to burn the table I oh, will remove this I don't need this at this stage where are you man yeah Okay. Let's check this. Where is it? Where are you? Okay. Are you short? You look short. Yeah, that's a full shot as you can see, right? Now let's check here. What is the position now? Yep, yeah, see? No shot. Can you see there? Okay. So I will get another from the donor board and solder it here. Okay, we got the donor board. I hardly find these um, legal caps on MacBook Air 2016 or 17 failed. 
but you never know in electronics what's gonna fail and when put it here and get our board which we are fixing it's this side here Where is my low mid solder? It's here. That's enough. Okay. Uh oh, where are you going, Mister? Uh, I have seen one more thing. Do you see? Or it's only I can see. Because being in the line and so much, see the crack here in this one. Okay, let's put you here. If it's not failing, it will fail later, sooner or later. See this one? Can you see? So I'm gonna replace this as well. I don't want customer to come back, you know, after a month. I will put some heat resist tape here. I don't want any heat to go to the processor. Okay. Yeah. Just removing this second one where I see a crack on it. So this is another cap from donor board. All done. Okay, so now I'm quite sure the fan should spin and then it should take right ends. If not, the, then we will follow S5 line. What else? Let's see, it's turning on. Do you see? It turns on. Yeah. But I just would like to check if it's not restarting, which I don't think it is. Now we will put a new thermal gel. 
here and then we will see if it's turning on fine in the in the MacBook casing. Well, I'm doing it just um, showing you the right way to put thermal paste. Make sure both the surfaces are clean. And don't just make a drop. You have to spread it over evenly. So spread it over evenly is like this. And after doing this, the next thing you should be doing is I will show you. Um, the reason behind is it, it transfer heat evenly. So it has to be even on the surface when you put a heat sink. See, just do this so that it's evenly spread out. And then put this screw back with the same torque. And now we will put it back and see how it goes. Okay, I just put as much as I need it, the rest um, the other technician will do it, so I have to put this cable on. And the next thing is... Yeah, fan is spinning. I can see on power supply is turning on. Yeah, did you hear the shine? Yeah, it turns on. Yep. So that was shot on PB bus underscore less five. Line and the shorted cap was C7314. And that's all been replaced and MacBook turned on fine. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching, and I will see you in next video. Bye.